If you take a look around right now, you can see that it's mid late fall, water temp is 55 degrees. We're coming up on that period where we're gonna transition from open water to ice. But this is actually one of the best times of the year to take to the water if you like ice fishing. And the reason why is I can scan water a lot quicker out of my boat with a good set of electronics than I can on the ice. And the beauty is via a micro SD, I can transfer information from this unit to this unit. So the LCD gives me all the functionality I basically have in the boat on ice. By using Auto Chart Live, I'm gonna go build my own one foot contour interval map and then I'm gonna be able to take that and enhance what is already a pretty darn decent base map. What that does is when I'm going out first ice, I know exactly where those fish are grouped up and I can get on them a lot quicker than I can by searching on top of the ice. So if you take a look at my map here, you'll see this point extension sticking out, but it's real general. I know there's a lot more detail there. And typically I'll get a bunch of fish first ice there and I've always wondered why. So I'm gonna go ahead and map that in a high resolution, one foot contour interval. Again, we're on a small little lake. There's thousands of them in the state that I'm from. And the survey crews don't go to every single one. So I call these sleeper lakes. And the beauty of Auto Chart Live is you can come in and quickly map a lake that may not have any map data, or in the case of this lake, is not a highly detailed map in high resolution. And the process is super simple with Auto Chart Live. On this Solix unit, I'm just changing my active panes by touching. I have chart selected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit chart up here, and then I'm gonna select Auto Chart Live. I'm gonna turn this on to record. I wanna display auto chart live, so I'm gonna hit that checkbox. I have my hardness layer already selected there. Bottom hardness is checked. And I'm gonna go into hardness options. And I wanna make sure the color is what I want. Okay, it's set to number one, good enough. And now we're gonna simply mow the lawn which is nothing other than just drying transects across this structure at a nice modest speed. Five miles an hour is a good starting point. And there you go, my map is starting to generate. I'm in a soft bottom area right now and that color is portrayed as that light orange. So right here I can see I have bottom hugging fish over the soft basin area. And these are the fish I'm gonna be targeting first ice just off that existing point. So we're gonna go ahead and drop a waypoint on those fish. And that's as simple as touching the screen with the Solix and dropping a waypoint. Look at the rocks there. Part of the reason this spot is so good, down imaging shows me several fish there is we're coming onto this rock pile. Look at that transition zone from hard to soft. The fish are stacked up there. We got big boulders from fist sized all the way to great big boulders. And just as importantly as we have mud, and a lot of aquatic invertebrates, the base of the food chain that panfish like crappie and bluegill and perch feed on often live in those transition zones, those transitions between hard and soft bottom areas. I got a nice spacing from that first waypoint. So you wanna be able to see your previous tracks. On side imaging, I have some fish right there, which I'm seeing on 2D there. One, two, three, four. And they're pretty close to that transition zone between hard and soft. And what I'm seeing here is just to my right is the rock pile and off to my left, there is no rock pile. So I'm on the end of the hard spot. That's important to know. And look at that. Those are the fish I'm gonna be targeting first ice right there. You can see them on DI and actually get a head count on the number of individuals down there. I'm cranking up the sensitivity. There's several fish, I'd say at least a dozen. So I'm gonna go ahead drop a waypoint on those fish. I'm gonna go back and target those fish first ice and we're gonna catch them and we're gonna have this map with us and we'll do a waypoint transfer as well. But in general, having the custom map and waypoints and being able to associate the two gives me a really great starting point first ice. The beauty of Auto Chart Live with the Zero Lines card is it holds basically an infinite amount of sonar log data. So I can keep building upon this for years and it's additive. So on each you know, follow on trip, I can hit record and just keep building on the maps. I don't have to do it all in one shot. I have the flexibility to map when I want or maybe the bike gets really slow and I wanna do some custom mapping and have lunch. Auto Chart Live gives you that option. My contours are getting tighter. That indicates we're coming up on that drop off. 
you can see the lines there, pretty general. And now look at Auto Chart Live. I got a lot tighter contour lines. Those are denoting a one foot change, a lot more detailed than what was existing. And we had just went over a school of fish, so I'm gonna go back into my four panel split. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this back. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a finger on it. And we're gonna go ahead and mark a waypoint. Just another area for me to take a look at first ice. And on those hardest spots, it's giving me this pink color. And I can change that in the color palette, but that's showing me the hardest, most prominent parts of the structure. The beauty of this auto chart live functionality with Hummingbird is that this is private information. This is yours. And you can share it with your buddies if you so choose. I've invested my own time. I wanna have this for me. This is the edge I'm giving myself when I come out on the ice. And this isn't hard. I mean, I'm not a professional surveyor. I'm just driving around but because it's additive, it's refining and getting more accurate the more I drive in this area. But that's a really interesting thing to note here on the map. I'm gonna zoom in and show you the steepness of that drop off. And look at that, we're gonna come into this really hard patch right here and take a look at down imaging. Here's my 2D sonar, look at that. This information doesn't lie, it's extremely accurate and it will help you catch more fish or figure out why there's fish where you are catching them. So literally 20 minutes of driving on each spot. We got two beautiful custom maps. I'm able to take what I figure out here to other parts of the lake. Okay, fish are on hard, soft bottom transitions. Look at, we're coming into hard, we're coming into hard. It's soft, soft, soft. Look at this pink line when I hit it. Okay, we've hit pink, look at that, boom. We're in good rock. I mean, that's nuts on. Very generalized map, I'll zoom in on there. You can see all the lines we've driven over the top. Look how general that is. Look how detailed that is. Plus I get that hardness information. That's extremely valuable. That's gonna help you catch more fish, guaranteed. There we go. Really light, light finesse bite. That's what finding your own stuff's all about, man. Figured I'd take advantage of what we just found. And there she is. Nice big bluegill.